Welcome to video number 7. This is SQL reporting service and today we are going to create a non wizard based report. In the past tutorial we saw a wizard based report. It was very much easy to create and don't worry this is also very easy but this report will give you more control. So I am in Visual Studio just like we left last time. So I am going to add a report, a new item. Last time we added a report wizard but this time I am going to add a report and I am going to call this report as my second report. Alright. So I have just added the second report as you can see over here. On the left hand side it is just a design and in the preview you won't be able to see anything at all. Right. So everything's cool. <coughs> and on the left hand side again you got toolbox and everything but now we are not interested into that. We need to first in order to generate the report in, in order to generate the same data what we had the last time we need to you know uh, build the data source right so let's add a new data source I'm gonna call this data source as second alright so I'm gonna call this guy as second I'm using a Microsoft SQL server I'm gonna hit the edit for the connection string I'm gonna do dot slash cool why I'm doing this because I'm connecting to the instance name period slash cool alright so now this is connected and disconnected through windows authentication so let's choose the database not when that's done test connection everybody's happy let's move alright so I'm gonna hit ok so my SQL <coughs> I'm sorry the data source is ready and as we all know if we want the data we need to create a data set so let's add a new data set right click on the data sets and I'm gonna call this guy as this is a data set what, I, what should I call this guy second again <coughs> and we are using uh, the data set right this is data set second use the data set embedded in my report what this means is on the left hand side what you see is a data source second we are trying to use that forget the first option we're gonna talk about that in the later session so what you have embedded in your current report is the data source second and which you can see over here when I click the drop down right so after which you are able to write your own query if you want to write or you can have the store procedure or you can again have a query designer to do the job for you but I'm lazy so I'm gonna do the same add close and company contact name and the city and I'll hit ok I'm not gonna do anything stupid which I did last time alright so I hit ok <coughs> and my data set is ready now next thing I need to fill this thing correctly so my data source is ready my data set is ready but I need to show the data to some place so how do I show it using a table so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the table and as you can see looking at the table design you can see that there's a top one is called as header and the bottom one is called as data <coughs> switch back to the report data and let's hold the company name and drag right into the data section and this is a company name drag the contact name from the data set second to in here same goes with the city so like it's ready right and what is this okay I'm gonna take this guy a little down and I'm gonna add there's one more control called as a text box control uh, using which you can do a lot <coughs> alright so I'm gonna stretch this guy first I'm gonna take the text box little up I'm sorry little down alright this is quite odd and I'm gonna write as this is cool I'm gonna make this thing as bold and I'm gonna make his font as 20 alright but I'm not able to see it so little bitty down and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this report little down so it looks nice and let's save the report and let's preview it oh yes so as you can see all the data is on the board it's down there now you can also do the same for like you know you can hold the row this one like this and then you can go to the properties by hitting F4 which I will show you right now which you can see right here and then you can set the background color for that as well okay, come on mouse and go up mousey mousey alright and little bit here so I'm gonna choose the background color as uh, I don't know uh, light blue looks nice let's save uh, let's take this guy down take this guy down and let's preview again 
C double O L cool right so you can do formatting you can do a lot of things with reports the basic bottom line is to remember is what type of report you are making and what are you doing <coughs> so the first report was a wizard based report in which we don't had much control yeah actually we had but but in the second we had more control we can do the things by ourselves the way we want plus the coolest feature is like uh, the data set if you want to, you can modify the query the query is getting right now how many records 91 records I'm saying get me 10 records I had ok I had ok I had save and I go back to the preview and you can see rather than giving me a 91 records it's giving me now only 10 records so the reporting service tool the Visual Studio is very much smart enough the moment I update the data source the preview section get updated so in live environment when actually you're going to update your data source I'm sorry not the data source the data set it will automatically update the preview or the report which you're I mean, viewing in the browser right so I hope this video gives you an idea so I hope you like it and if you like this video then please subscribe thank you for watching